is my first year in DPS, teaching in DPS, so this is my first experience with LEAP. And overall, I feel that I've had a rather positive experience with it, um, especially you know, coming into a rubric that focuses both on, like I mentioned before, the teacher behaviors and the student behaviors. It truly, it is a good representative of DPS and how DPS has students first. I'm the teacher that I really liked it right away. I liked the whole concept of being challenged at the next level to improve my practice. And so I always thought I was teaching at a pretty high level to begin with. And so when it came in, it was just like, I looked at the LEAP framework and thought that, nice, this is going to enhance what I already do. Uh, and so right away, you know, wanting to do it, wanting to be involved in it, and then having a really cool peer observer come in and having that really positive relationship. Uh, it turned out to be something really good for me that it was a chance for me to have really rich conversations about what I teach. So LEAP has really helped me this year in terms of lesson planning. Um, first looking at the teacher behaviors that LEAP provides in giving a structure behind my lessons. Um, and then shifting over to looking at student behaviors, I could see what engaged behavior looks like and trying to identify what is the why, what do I want my students to get out of this lesson. So it's helped in shaping those structures. I've made very big shifts in, in how I understand my curriculum and how I write my curriculum for K through fifth grade. That was a tremendous thing for me in under, understanding how to um, involve my standards and use the standards in order to determine the type of content that I wanted my students to learn. Now that I understand so my curriculum better and my standards better and the concepts and, and skills and, and content that was required for those grade levels, then I was big, I began to have actual real tools to incorporate them into my classroom uh, during my instructional time. The area that I needed to work with early on and he was cool about how he expressed it was academic language and kind of setting the bar for that and so the specific feedback was how do you improve that academic language, how do you include that in, in, in your lesson um, to make that more rich and, and so it kind of went into that frame a lot. My confidence grew and I, what I noticed was that as my confidence grew in the ability to deliver um, very rigorous tasks through, through the use of academic language that my students had more confidence in uh, by the end of the year of, of doing that too. Just be open. Be open to the reception of, of um, input and feedback into your practice and um, when you open yourself up like that and you become receptive then there are great things that can kind of enter your field of learning and it becomes very exciting. I've had a lot of excitement in my teaching practice this year.